breaking news that is coming in from the India's highest court. Now, big update in the hijab hearing after Karnataka government, in fact, went on to allege PFI role in the massive protests and stir against the hijab ban in the educational institutions in the state. The recent development in the case is that the top court has sought more information from the Bomai government on the PFI link. The Supreme Court has gone on to ask the Bomai government to give us a portion of the chart sheet on PFI. What is the basis for you to claim that there is a connection of the PFI to the larger protest and the controversy? And on this note, in fact, let's cut across to my colleague, Minakshi Banja, who's reporting live from Delhi. Minakshi, please give us a sense of uh, what exactly transpired in the Supreme Court today. What has been the observation of the top court and what has Karnataka government said on the same? Uh, you know, at the outset, we uh, will uh, bring to the knowledge of our viewers that this is the day 10 of proceedings in the Supreme Court pertaining to the hijab row. And the Supreme Court, uh, remember yesterday, the Karnataka government had invoked uh, the PFI alleged involvement in the entire hijab row. And the Supreme Court today, a bench led by Honorable Justice uh, Gupta, has said it very clearly that it wants to see the material to really understand what the Karnataka government is essentially alleged. And for that purpose, the charge sheet uh, that has been filed in this matter has been asked by the uh, Supreme Court to be submitted by this evening itself. The Advocate General of Karnataka informed the Supreme Court that since the charge sheet is in Kannada language, it is being translated uh, and it will be indeed submitted uh, to the Supreme Court so the top court can peruse through this material. Also very important to highlight to our viewers that the Supreme Court has today observed very clearly that it may not really uh, rely upon this uh, in the larger context of the hijab debate pending in the Supreme Court, but it wants to peruse nonetheless uh, through the material and see the relevancy of what the Karnataka government has alleged. So it was the first time yesterday that the PFI angle has been invoked by the Karnataka government in the larger uh, context of the hijab row. And today the Supreme Court wants to see the charge sheet to really see the actual veracity of the material that the Karnataka government has alleged. While it may not have any bearing in the final outcome or the judgment uh, of the top court, which will be eventually delivered in the foreseeable future pertaining to the hijab row, but nonetheless, the Supreme Court wants to satisfy itself by seeing the necessary material or evidence as has been alleged by the Karnataka government. All right, Minakshi, thank you for, for putting out all those details for us.